say Boy, you can say anything you want I don't give a sh no one else can have Today we're taking inspiration from Cher Lloyd's style. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get her hair, makeup, and an inspired outfit. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now I feel like shh, looking at you, flying, I want you back. I want you back, want, want you, want you back. Oh, please, this ain't even jealousy. Hey guys! Today I'm going to be doing a Cher Lloyd inspired hair, makeup, and outfit tutorial. I am such a big fan of Cher Lloyd. I love her. She's gorgeous. Her voice is amazing. I'm obsessed with a lot of her songs, especially Want You Back. I listen to that one all the time. So if you love that song, leave a comment below. If you know who she is, leave a comment below also. So I've been getting a lot of requests lately to do a Cher Lloyd inspired tutorial, like on Twitter and Facebook and everything. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. So that is what I'm doing today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get one of her signature looks which is this one right here that is like very dramatic I have like two sets of eyelashes on I hope you guys like this tutorial and if you have any more requests for tutorials that you would like to see on my channel just leave that below and I'll make sure to go through all of them so yeah let's get into the tutorial Much game, thought I needed to upgrade, so I went and walked away, way, way. Now I see you've been hanging out with another girl in town. So you want to start off with a face primer, and I actually already applied my Benefit Poreless Face Primer, and this is just going to give your skin a nice canvas to work with. And then I'm going in with, of course, my Smashbox BB Cream, but you can use any foundation or tinted moisturizer that you prefer. So I'm just applying this to my fingertips and dotting that all over my skin and blending it in. Now Cher's skin always looks flawless, so of course we want to cover up any imperfections. I'm applying this Tarte Concealer, and I'm mainly using this under my eyes just to get rid of any redness or puffiness under my eyes. And you can also apply this on any blemishes or redness on your skin. And of course we want to set the foundation and concealer for an even more flawless look, so I'm just taking this MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural with a very big powder brush, and I'm using that to apply the powder all over my skin. If what I've been told is true, you'll be crawling back like boo. And now we're going to be taking a bronzer to contour our skin. So this one is by Too Faced, and I love this one because it smells like hot chocolate. And what's better than that? So when contouring, I like to use an angled blush brush, and I just pick up the bronzer on the brush, and then you want to suck in your cheeks like you're making a fishy face, and apply that to the hollows of your cheeks and work up to your temples. Boy, you can say anything you want. I don't give a sh no one else can have. Now bold brows are an essential for this makeup look because Cher's brows always look amazing. So take a brow powder and begin just kind of creating light strokes through your brows to fill them in and make them a little bit more dramatic and full. So you can just keep doing this until you get the desired look that you like. And now it's time for the eyeshadow. So start off with priming your lids. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion, of course, and blending that in with my fingers. And now I'm taking my Naked 2 palette, which has a lot of great neutral shades. I have no idea what I'm doing right there anyways. Um, you want to start off with applying a light, shimmery color all over your entire lid. So start from your lash line and work it all the way up to about your crease. And working it a little bit into the crease is going to give you the effect of fuller and larger lids. So you can definitely do that if you want. Now for the crease color, I'm actually going to be using a bronzer, and I know that's a little weird, but Cher's makeup artist actually showed that she uses bronzer in the crease because it looks more natural. So just pick up the bronzer you used on your face earlier on a crease brush and blend that into the crease. Now instead of liquid liner, we're actually going to be using pencil liner. So using your black pencil liner, smudge this into your upper lash line and then create a little wing. And then you also want to bring this down to the lower waterline. And of course you want to do the same to the other eye because it would look a little weird if you didn't have eyeliner in the other one. Okay, now it is time to curl the lashes to get them ready for the falsies. So just go ahead and curl your lashes for some more volume. 
Now I actually found out that on the X Factor, Cher used to wear three pairs of eyelashes, but I'm only going to be using two today because I don't want to be all dramatic. So taking the first set of lashes, I'm just going to apply that to my real lashes. And then I'm going to take a second pair that are shorter than the first, but they're a lot fuller. So we're getting the length and we're also getting the fullness. So I'm applying that right on top of the first pair. And as you can tell, my lashes are pretty cray cray. And now I'm just taking some mascara, this is the Falsies by Maybelline, and I'm just going to use this to blend the fake lashes with my real ones. For cheeks, I'm using this blush by MAC in Peach Twist. It's a really pretty peachy, kind of bronze color with a little bit of shimmer. So picking that up on my blush brush, I'm just going to apply this to my apples and work that up. And what's a sheer makeup look without a bright hot pink lip color? I'm using this one by MAC in the shade Impassion, and I'm applying this to my lips, and since it's so bold, I'm just applying it a little bit in the center and then blending it out with my finger to get a more precise look. So that's the makeup and it's now time for the hair. So taking a teasing comb, you want to start teasing your hair at the roots, and I'm also teasing it at the crown just to give us that volume that we need for this look. Now once your hair is all teased, we are going to be taking a curling iron or curling wand. I'm using my magical curling wand. And what I'm doing is taking small sections of hair and wrapping them around the wand and holding it for a few seconds. I recommend using a curling iron or wand that is either 3 fourths of an inch or 1 inch for the most Cher Lloyd like curls. So just continue doing this all throughout your hair until you have curled all of it. Alright, so now I am finished curling my hair, and what I'm going to start doing is kind of just playing around with it, making it a little bit more messy and less polished. I'm taking a teasing comb and brushing out the ends of the curls just to kind of loosen them up a bit, and then I'm teasing the hair towards the roots just to give it even more volume. Remember all the things that you and I did first you got me, got me. And to help my curls last all day I'm taking my hairspray This one is by Bumble and Bumble And it comes in a pink container So I'm just spraying my hair to hold the curl And then I'm also spraying a tad on my finger And rubbing that through my roots for even more volume I know Cher just loves volume So that's what we're doing And that is the completed Cher Lloyd hair and makeup Oh please This ain't even jealousy She ain't got a thing on me Trying to rock those ugly jeans, jeans, jeans. You. So this outfit was inspired by the U.S. version of Want You Back. Cher was wearing a really gorgeous sheer blouse. So the blouse that I'm wearing is from Forever 21. It has little bows all over it, and they have tons of sheer blouses at Forever 21. So you could definitely find a bunch there. And I always see Cher wearing statement shorts, so anything that's high-waisted or a bold color will definitely work. These are from Cotton On. And then my ring is from Forever 21. It's very bold, and I think it's definitely very Cher Lloyd. And I'm just obsessed with this ring. My shoes were purchased at Cotton On, and the reason I got these is because I always see Cher wearing lots of flats. Sometimes she'll wear dressy ones or sneakers, Converse, anything like that. So that is the completed Cher Lloyd hair, makeup, and outfit tutorial. Alright, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Cher Lloyd makeup tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you recreate this, don't forget to send me a picture of your recreation. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Oh, remember all the things that you and I did first. And I. Oh, this comes down! Cuckoo!